The Lindsay Balanced Literacy ELA model is an instructional framework that helps learning facilitators structure their reading, writing, and ELD blocks to provide access and equity for all learners. We can use this model as a template for planning a day's instruction. The basic structure of the Balanced Literacy ELA model should include a writing block, a reading block, and a designated ELD period. Structuring our day according to this model helps us to intentionally integrate balanced reading and writing instructional content into our curriculum, while still allowing time for a designated block of ELD learning. Both our writing and reading blocks should include a connection, a mini lesson, literacy centers, and a closure period. This structure allows us to effectively integrate whole group, small group, and direct instruction while allowing the flexibility to adapt to our learners' learning needs. English language development strategies should be integrated into all sections of the reading and writing blocks. A writing block begins with a connection period. This should expose all learners to the learning goals that they will be responsible for and build background knowledge. Building connections often involves featuring literature and sharing exemplar writing samples. The mini lesson is the part of our writing block where the learning facilitator will provide direct instruction based on the specific needs of the learners. This section should rely on demonstration and the explicit telling and showing of examples. We should provide anchor charts that clearly communicate the requirements of the learning goal and allow for inquiry and engagement. In many instances, the content of the mini lesson is designed to address academic needs based on feedback from writing samples. In this instance, learners with different learning needs should move straight to literacy centers instead of participating in the mini lesson. Literacy centers will provide both guided and independent practice that is directly tailored to the learning needs of each individual. For learners who received a mini lesson, this period may serve as a continuation of the demonstration or an application of the knowledge presented. Differentiation and small group creation and management play a key role in the success of this period. The learning facilitator will conduct direct instruction or conference with one small group of learners or an individual, while others participate in personalized literacy centers. The closure period allows the group to reconnect and reflect on their learning progress. It provides an opportunity for the whole group to review the day's learning content together. It gives the learning facilitator an opportunity to reward the learners with validation of their writing achievements. The learning facilitator may choose to share exemplar work with the group for critique and celebration. The reading block should follow the same basic structure as the writing block. It should include a connection, a mini lesson, literacy centers, and a closure period. The connection period of the reading block should expose all learners to the learning goals that they will be responsible for and build background knowledge through connection to previous texts. We should use the connection time to read aloud to our learners and provide a preview of upcoming text. The mini lesson functions in much the same way as a writing mini lesson. The learning facilitator will provide direct instruction to the whole class or a group of learners. The important idea is that the mini lesson is delivered to the learners who need it. We should provide anchor charts that clearly communicate the requirements of the learning goal and allow for inquiry and engagement. This section should focus on reading strategy, word and sentence study, and the analysis of the text. Common mini lessons include read alouds, shared reading, and shared writing. Next, the learners experience guided reading and literacy centers. The learning facilitator meets with small groups of learners to deliver direct instruction in reading. The learners who are not with the learning facilitator are at literacy centers where they are practicing their skills or engaged in blended learning opportunities. 
The reading block ends with a closure period, which allows the group to reconnect and reflect on their learning progress. It provides an opportunity for the whole group to review the day's learning content together. It gives the learning facilitator an opportunity to reward learners with celebration of the day's accomplishments.